Hi, it's Sarah, and welcome to my video. Hey everyone, this is actually part three of my series. So I hope you all saw part one and two, but if you didn't, be sure to go check that out because I talked all about, you know, environmental reasons and our human body and, man, like, <laughs> a lot of things, I guess. So if you haven't seen those, just be sure to go check that out after you watch this video and stay tuned for a few more reasons why I think we should probably be eating a little bit less meat. Okay, last but not least, this is something we need to take into consideration regardless of you being vegan or not. What uh, the meat that we are eating is doing to our bodies in relation to what type of meat you're eating. So if you're eating a lot of dark meat, which we know is not too great in excess for our bodies, then we will have increased heart problems, high blood pressure. If you know someone who's kind of suffered from heart problems, this should really impact you in a sense that you understand that Eating that sort of meat can lead and increase risks in all those categories. So, not to mention organ failure alone is a direct reflection of, you know, eating too much red meat. That being said, you know, you could decrease your red meat consumption. Why do we eat things like pork and beef in the first place? And, you know, of course there are some benefits of eating meat. And that's because they contain a lot of proteins and a lot of nutrients in them. I mean, of course they are such a high source of protein. If you look up things like the highest sources of protein, meat's gonna be like at least the top three options there for you. And it's great if you're trying to get in protein, especially, you know, I'm preaching in the sense of, you know, I'm a personal trainer. I used to like aspire to hit my macros anyway. <laughs> Easiest way to do that is to eat some meat. Well, there's a lot of like, practically pure protein sources out there when it comes to meat and you don't have to eat you know a lot of random other things to combine your meats like you would if you are vegan you know you have to combine your proteins to get complete protein and it's a whole complicated process so therefore meat is the easiest way to get protein of course after all that factory farming and everything is done and set with and our environment is destroyed and you know, we're filled with steroids, then we have our protein at least, right? If you take nothing else to heart, eating way too much red meats is very bad for you. I, when I was in Italy, people don't eat red meat that often. They eat a lot of fish, you know, sometimes they'll have chicken, but they don't eat meat that often. America, they eat meat all the time. We eat meat left and right, you know? Sometimes like two, three meals a day we'll have meat. And I'm guilty of eating a lot of meat, especially when I was growing up. I used to prefer meat to vegetables. And, you know, I didn't think that was a bad thing until now I'm, I'm a little bit more educated on the topic. Eating too much red meat is bad for you. Eating meat is bad for a lot of things, but to say that they're unhealthy for you is kind of like in a gray area. Like I was saying, let's just recap a little bit the environment. We're automatically hurting the environment if we are eating meat that has been raised on these factory farms. Again, go look up the video at the end of this if you want to see what I'm talking about. So that being said, you could eat, you know, local meat and stuff where you know its journey and you figure out what it's done. Because if it does have steroids in it, then we're putting steroids in our body. You don't think it's just like, killed off eventually, do you? Like, that steroid meat, we're consuming that. You have to think, at the very least, throughout the cooking process, there's some still tainted materials in that meat that we are now eating. If you want to take any of this to heart, then I think, at the very least, we should be consuming less factory farm meat, and a lot of what you have in your grocery stores are probably from factory farms, just go ahead and look at them. And even if you think that it says natural, organic, like it still might be raised like that. We're not really sure. Like there's like, maybe you can check it. I'm not sure positive on like what meat that's available to you. But if you go to like your local farmer's market, you can get meat. You can meet the people who were on this farm. If you live in a city that might be harder to come by, 
but I'm sure there's options if you just type in where can I buy local meat and animal goods near me and just see if you can find some stuff. If not, ask the butcher at your grocery store or whatever and see where the meat is from, if that was raised on a factory farm or if it's a local farmer. And in general, you should be decreasing your red meat consumption, all those pork and beef, that sort of stuff. And if you want to still eat meat, at least eat chicken and fish, that sort of thing, turkey, and less beef because that can be harmful to your heart and all that stuff. And I certainly don't want anyone to be in the circumstances where they're going to have health problems because of what they're eating. Also, you should generally be reducing your consumption of meat overall and that can be better for you, better for the environment, better for the animals, better for our country, better for the economy, and all, literally all that stuff. And every single person has the power to change it in some way. And it's called a ripple effect, chain reaction, whatever you want to say. Like, you doing your part really does have an effect on the world. Like, just think of how many times you've eaten meat. Like, that's at least a few animals every so often that you are 100% responsible for eating. Sorry, not sorry, you know? Like, and don't try to, like, beat yourself up about it. I'm not perfect. I've eaten meat. I still, like, occasionally will eat meat. But I am trying to go full vegan, um, hopefully by New Year's. That's what I want my resolution to be. Just be more responsible for what you're eating and what you're consuming. Because at the end of the day, you have the power to not eat meat. And if that's something maybe you're younger and your parents are cooking for you, just ask them, like, hey, like, would it be okay if we stopped eating as much meat, like, at dinner or whatever? Like, I would really like to switch more to a plant-based diet. And that's honestly kind of the most perfect way you can do it, is doing plant-based. Now, obviously being vegetarian and vegan, those are great. I want to be vegan, like I said. But being plant-based and occasionally eating meat, you're not limiting yourself like you're never going to eat meat for the rest of your life. Because if you are someone who eats meat, and you're simply being persuaded by this video, then you're probably not gonna quit cold turkey for the rest of your life, you know? But switching to more plant-based and finding, you know, some vegan or vegetarian recipes to swap out with and maybe eating meat once a week or two times a month or something like that, and that's just automatically helping everyone, the environment, yourself, so much at the end of the day and if you're like hmm Sarah I don't have any great vegan recipes go ahead and click on my channel and watch some other videos because I do have recipes a lot of them are vegan and um, I'm kind of a new youtuber if you're watching this when it first comes out but I will have loads of content. I'm still gonna wanna be a vegan tomorrow and the next day after that. So there will always be that kind of content on here. And just, you know, take the time to treat yourself right and treat everyone else right. And that coincides with taking care of the environment and yourself and being responsible for, you know, your time here on the earth. So I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video. And please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also be sure to subscribe. I'd love to create more videos like this. Um, but I do have some varying content, like some recipes. I'll possibly have some workouts. I have informative videos like this. So be sure to subscribe so you can see my new videos and check out some of my other ones while you're at it. I wish you the best in your plant-based, vegetarian, vegan, less red meat, all those endeavors. <laughs> So be sure to subscribe so you can see my new videos and check out some of my other ones while you're at it. Thank you for joining me today and absorbing all the information that I had to say. <laughs> all right, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy veganism. Bye.